Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract a mixed fraction from a whole number. In order to do that, I will need to convert this whole number into a fraction and also this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So let's do that. I'm going to rewrite this 12 as 12 over 1 and you can see that I didn't change the value of this whole number because 12 divided by 1 is still 12. Then I can put the minus sign in between. Now I'm going to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So 5 times 4 gives me 20 and 20 plus 3 gives me 23. So I'm going to put 23 on the numerator and then 4 in the denominator because we don't change the denominator when we convert a mixed fraction into improper fraction. Now, I want the denominators to be equal, otherwise I won't be able to subtract these fractions. You can see that I have a 1 in the denominator here and 4 here. So when you have unlike denominators, you cannot subtract or add the fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the denominators equal. But how would I do that? I know that I can multiply uh, the fraction by something to make the denominators equal. Now I cannot multiply anything into 4 to make it equal to 1, but I can multiply something into 1 to make it equal to 4. Right, now what do I multiply? Well, the answer is simple. I can multiply this by 4 because 4 times 1 is going to give me 4 and I'll get the same denominators. Now remember that since I multiplied my denominator by 4, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 4 because I need to balance my fraction, right? And you can notice that this is 4 divided by 4. Basically, this is just 1. This is just a fancy form of 1, right? 4 divided by 4 is going to give me 1. And I'm multiplying my fraction by 1, which is not changing the value of my fraction at all, right? Now, we got the, we're going to multiply the numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator. So 4 times 12 is going to give me 48. And then 4 times 1 is going to give me 4. And then I have the minus sign in between, and then we, we're going to write 23 over 4 as it is. Now we're going to subtract the numerator, 48 minus 23. Well, that's going to give me 2, 5, 25. And then we're going to get 4 in the denominator, because when we subtract the fractions, we don't subtract the denominators. We only subtract the numerators, right? So I got 25 over 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the long division method to convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction because I can't leave my answer in this form. You see that the numerator is greater than denominator, so this is improper fraction, and whenever you have an improper fraction, you need to convert that into a mixed fraction. So let's go ahead and divide this. So 4 will go into 25 6 times. 4 times 6 is going to give me 24, and then I can go ahead and subtract. 5 minus 4 gives me 1. So I'm going to put 6 is my quotient, so that becomes my whole number, that becomes my whole part, and then I need the fractional part in order to write this in a mixed fraction. So remainder becomes my fraction's numerator, and the divisor becomes my fraction's denominator, so my answer is going to be 6 and 1 fourth, and that's going to be my final answer, 6 and 1 fourth. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.